yani kila ofisa anakuanga na rekodi yake ya exhibit yake na anajiwekea so hii hapo niweka ingawa hii kesi ijenda godini but i'm expecting to go soon We are being pro are being provided by the UN. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, what we can't. Yeah. We can't. Less than five can meet this typewriter. This is the steel box. 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 Yeye kishika moto itaanguka kwa mabomu zika hapa. Sasa unaona TV mbaga inabidi ikinyesha na tuanga hapo. Muweke tena. Leta hapa ndiye kutenda. Tuma hapa ndiye inyeshi. Nyumba hamna Ripuchwa kasema kwamba nyumba wanakucha kuchenga after three months Ndiyo ini Miaka hasa ni Kwa hasa ni miaka nina Cho hamna Cho inapika raini ndiyo Ndiyo muta ingia cho Asubui Bafu Bafu hamna Over the years The police have actually been Part of the condemned Yet we demand That the police must be there To provide services to us Now are in future in service It was an ordinary Saturday afternoon, a robbery attempt went wrong in Buruburu Estate and a lone gunman sought refuge in a house where he barricaded himself. A protracted shooting drama ensued and lasted several hours. It takes three, four hours for a policeman to deal with one, one inexperienced armed robber in Buruburu. Because the officers are shooting, hiding behind a tree or hiding behind a wall. Because they know, they know they are completely unequipped and unready to deal with this kind of situation. The gunman shoots other police officers, killing one of them and an innocent middle-aged woman. In total, five people are killed by the gunman. He later makes a phone call to a local radio station in an attempt to give himself up to the police. Hello, Nioje? Nioje. Yeah, Nabunga na? Nabunga na Steve. Masansoni will be here. You go for Keja. Na Masansoni will be here. Want to go to the police? 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 Mali uko? Uko na wipo na yote? Uko na wipo na police? Police would hear none of it. It's now too late. They try to smoke him out, but the gunman is defiant, and the police have run out of tricks. This is one of the incidents, mo most worst and unfortunate incident in Nairobi, which we have ever had. After a five-hour siege, two white cars pull in and out comes security agents, rarely seen in the public eye, the GSU Reki Company. You cannot go unless the government and militia by just shooting aimlessly. Because of the training that we had, we use, we use very little time, very little ammunition. The special elite squadron took exactly five minutes to end the siege. The record company is the most elite security unit that forms the presidential escort regiment. They guard the president round the clock, wherever he would be. So no president wants to... To, to be unguarded. We should say their history really emanates from the fact that the life of the president, the life of the first family, is entirely dependent on this man. And so there has been an, an immense investment in their training and equipment. 
the GSU record company is on standby all the time. Duty can call at any moment. They are all sharpshooters. They, they, can sh they can shoot at a target while flying in the air themselves. So you will jump, you will shoot at something and you won't miss it. The record company is the only unit trusted by the U.S. Secret Service and Navy SEALs to be part of the convoy that guards their high-ranking officials. This is because record companies founded in the highest standards of security training. But I do know some of the trainers that are training the recce squadron and they have a very high opinion of those guys and those girls. The process of getting these young men into the recce squad is a very rigorous process and it's not just anybody that can get in there. They get young men of high intelligence. They are simply the best. It's hard to find those kind of young men all over the world. But despite years of hard and tough training in paramilitary skills and a heavy training investment, these men are the most poorly paid officers. Most of the, 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 the groups that I worked with in America for a month had their SWAT teams, okay, their special operational teams that would only be called in in a hostage situation or something. The, the other cops would be doing ordinary work. But the, and these are our SWAT team and, they, and, and I, I think they're doing a fantastic job. The public needs to know about it, but they need to be properly remunerated and looked after. This payslip shows a recce officer taking home a net pay of 11,683 shillings and 20 cents from a basic salary of 24,210 shillings. This is an officer who has dedicated over 10 years of his life into protecting the president, the deputy president and VIPs. <laughs> The payslip shows a house allowance of 1,650 Kenya shillings with a police risk allowance of 5,000 Kenya shillings and police field allowance of 2,000 shillings. A recce officer who has served five years and below goes home with a net pay of 7,713 shillings from a basic salary of 9,824 shillings. <laughs> After the Westgate attack in which a disgruntled recce company left the scene of a bungled operation, they went back to their Riru base unhappy after KDF took over the Westgate siege and ordered them out after saving hundreds of lives. It is evident that these men are prepared and ready for these kind of situations. So at Westgate, we just wasted them. You saw how they left in anger and pain. United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has even employed the services of two former recce company officers that act as his bodyguards. This same situation trickles down to regular police officers who have been a point of ridicule on how they handle criminals with lack of proper training and equipment, forcing the record company to come in and help. 
This situation has seen officers attacked and killed in the line of duty as riots that can be contained with minimal resistance spiral out of control and cause unnecessary damage. The regular police are poorly paid and lack proper equipment to deal with modern-day criminality and terrorism despite numerous promises to improve their welfare. A helicopter pilot in the police air wing probably gets paid a quarter or a sixth or an eighth of what a helicopter gets paid in the hangar next door. Okay, so you've got to be a very dedicated cop to stay here when there's a guy in the hangar next door offering to pay you five or six times as much. And that's the same with, with the ordinary officers. So Dennis, the problem I have is that people have been talking about a numbers game. We need more cops, more cops, more cops. More cops means a bigger budget, because now you've got to pay each one of those wages. Okay. What I'm saying is, not more cops. Better trained, better remunerated, more dedicated cops. This is what is pushing some officers to engage in crime, as recently reported in the media. Ex-police officers and those still in the service are finding quick ways of making money illegally as the government keeps promising them better pay and better facilities. These concerns will remain so for a long time if the basic police equipping and infrastructure is anything to go by. I know them. For example, these tires. Mm. That's my case. The TV in the end. So you need, as an officer, you must know your exhibit. Okay, this thing has been here for the last, I don't know how many years. We, we, people come here and they come. And the exhibits are still here. So when you come to this office, make sure you mark your own exhibits. Okay. So that in case you have a case in court, you personally know your exhibit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't have a good immune system. So this exhibit here, yeah, that's image. Yeah. Most police stations have poor or no storage facilities for exhibits, leading to thousands of cases being thrown out of court because simply the prosecution either lost or tampered with evidence and exhibits. The risk of deterioration or loss of information is very high. There is no storage for fragile exhibit pieces that could deteriorate due to weather or exposure to light or air. The failure to better manage or competently manage exhibits and, and pieces of evidence is the beginning of the failure of the entire criminal justice system. It doesn't matter the, the best lawyers you got or the best prosecutors you got or the best judges you got. Safe handling of exhibits and evidence is facing even a bigger challenge because of lack of stationary equipment for police officers to record daily data. The police officers lack adequate writing materials including paper and pens, photocopy machines, paper shredders, safes and basic office furniture. Crime branch officers lack well-resourced, trained and qualified staff to provide expertise, such as scene of crime specialists. Weapon handling is also another challenge as witnessed in many stations where there are no armories to keep weapons. To me, I got my armory. This is a steel box. This is an armory where police officers keep their guns. A metal box like those used by kids when going to school. In some police stations, there are no steel doors leading to the armories. Inside, guns and explosives lay in the open. What the um, OCS is forced to do is, from his own budget, get money from his own pocket, um, buy a metal box or buy a wooden box, whatever he thinks is applicable, and uh, locks up the guns. In Arches Post, uh, which is an operation area, the community actually has more guns than, they, than the police uh, station does. This is another police post with an isolated room with a wooden door serving as an armory. You don't even have a steel door. You literally and then you are arms protected. In North Eastern, police stations like this one are frequently attacked by armed criminals 
and terror gangs, and this is the face of police service in that region. The recent attack in Turkana and particularly on police camps in the area was an illustration of the audacity of criminals that knew too well about the low levels of morale among the police. At the stations of duty, police records are still manual and retrieval of data is almost an impossible task. The file management system is a cake and stacks of paper litter the spaces all over the police station. Case files, including murder investigations, lie on open shelves and desks. This is the main radio room in one police station. All CSs and other officers use their personal phones to communicate with each other and in rural areas the police radio communication system is fully dependent on a car battery. So across the country the police communication system is a cake and, 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 and we need to face it. This type of typewriter is found in many police stations. This police officer is preparing a case file and lack of basic ICT equipment has forced 38 police officers here to file their cases using this piece of equipment. But only five police officers know how to use it and this officer is the best. Keying in important information and intelligence is hard to preserve and it takes at least days or weeks before the reports reach police headquarters. But fighting modern day crime with outdated tools may prove simply impossible. Fingerprinting in some countries has moved to digital for tracking purposes. But in this police station in Copsiro, fingerprinting involves an unpleasant inking session. This man was brought here after committing a crime. He waits patiently for the police officer to finish preparing and is ordered to stand up and rub his greasy fingers on his hair before the fingerprinting sessions start. This takes some time before the officer has to repeat the process again. The Kenya Police Service is yet to acquire digital fingerprinting technology for most of its stations. Only the CID headquarters here in Nairobi has a central fingerprinting database, so it will take someone from northeastern days to get his or her fingerprints analyzed. It's by miracle that our criminal justice system is actually functioning. At a place like Unguja, even a shelter for police post would indeed be a miracle because the reporting desk is under a tree. Across many stations, there is either lack of equipment or police operate under condemned buildings. Not easily, really. We are being, pro they are being provided by the U.S. Oh, yeah, that's why. Yeah, because police, yeah. police, we cannot, we can't. Where's the noise? Can't, 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 can't. Most of the police stations do not have cell facilities, and where they have, um, it was originally meant to accommodate very few detainees. So what they've had to do is be innovative, and there's a word that the police officers will always use: um, use your own initiative. This is the case of Dandora Police Station, which was established in 2011. One cell holds petty offenders to rapists and what separates men from women detainees is only plywood. The cell lacks toilet facilities and detainees use buckets or in some stations, detainees have to be escorted to the toilets outside. The station serves a population estimated at over 200,000. The station has a makeshift housing the offices of the OCS, his deputy, and the officer in charge of crime, including the office of the Criminal Investigation Department, CID. Over the years, the police have actually been part of the condemned. Yet we demand that the police must be there to provide services to us. So we demand so much from the police, yet we invest the least in them. It's still a pipe dream as the man carrying a gun and tries to fight crime wakes up from these living conditions. A room shared by three families is not just a story, it is real. Some mobs are share.
Number six, Coco Chini. Number one. Per month, six thousand. Also, our allowance, na pata five. Committee for Housing, Welfare and Stalled Police Projects visited this police station in Nyeri. This is Kiawara Police Station near former President Mwai Kibaki's home. Officers here say their efforts to provide security had been hit by poor living conditions and lack of equipment. What I would like to tell the officers is to be patient. The government has prioritized the construction of houses for the officers. The government also has prioritized the general welfare in terms of salaries, in terms of allowances. The deplorable state of police housing is even posing a health risk to police officers and their families. At Mwege police station, officers reported that rainwater leaks into the officer commanding station's office, the report office, and the traffic office. The station has one vehicle which is also used by both Kiawara and Mwega police stations. Their motto is Utumishi Kwawote, service to all. That seemingly comes amid great suffering and sacrifice.